And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Full Throttle. When we last left off, someone was trying to produce minivans and we need to stop him. And for this we need to get access to this room, I believe. Um, the problem being that in this room there's a guy. Ah! Help! Security! Yeah, that will call security upon us. that same guy, the big one. Catch him this time, will ya? This is gonna get old fast. Yeah, indeed it does. I, I think you can't die actually in this game. Um, hmm. Ah! Help! Security! Yeah, okay. Hmm. Why can't you catch that guy? Donuts weighing you down. And I still think that that, that person looks like a woman. I mean, yeah. Uh, maybe the artist who drew that um, was under the mistaken impression that he was supposed to draw a woman. It's, it's locked. Hmm. So we have these two rooms that we can sort of operate, and. Can, we should probably check first whether there are any more items that we can interact with. Uh, it appears not. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we can't use this projector. A bunny won't do much there. Yeah, because this projector. I don't think that plays real to real tapes. Uh, doesn't play. This tape, apparently. Okay. I think we need to. Yeah. I think they saw some sort of projector like machine in the other room. Um. Ah! He was in here again. Are you even looking? Maybe she's just lonely. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pixel hunting here. Um, there's this. There are two levers here. That he doesn't. Yeah. It's not. Uh, going to tell us anything about it. Okay. Can we kick the lever? No. Hmm. Okay, let us try something else. Let us try to enter that room. Oh, for crying out loud. You, in the control booth, wake up! Just a lamp adjustment. Be fixed in no time. At least the film didn't burn, huh? <laughs> uh, yes. Hmm. As I was saying... Okay, we... I could be dead by now with all your protection. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if this could be Mavis's way of getting my attention. <laughs> uh, maybe it, it is. Hmm. It's locked. I'm clearly missing something. It's locked. Um Come on, old timer. We are a high tech corporation. <laughs> this can't happen. Yeah, uh, yes. Now then. <laughs> 
Hmm. Ah! Don't look at me like that. Hey, I wonder if she's got a thing for me. <laughs> I wonder whether we actually just have to do that enough times and then something is going to happen somehow. But that would be sort of illogical. Hmm. I think we just have to find the right combination of this. What you see before you right now ah, is my need to burn the film. Oh, perfect. This is a disaster. <laughs> You're telling me. We're gonna have some major downtime here. Why don't you tell a joke or something? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know any jokes. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of an amusing anecdote. <laughs> About a... Uh, uh, I... Well, I'm out of ideas. Okay, that's that was a woman that you that you saw there. Okay. You can't tell me otherwise. Now, this next slide shows our new, more aggressive corporate strategy. If you're hearing this, I must have croaked. Well, people gotta move on, you know, and make room for other people. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. I've made room for someone else to take my place at Corley Motors. And it ain't that embezzling crook, Adrian Ripford. Rip, you don't belong at the head of my company. You belong in jail. Uh... <laughs> I let that man talk me into far too many things. Like keeping my daughter a secret. He was wrong. I was wrong. I should have stood by her. I hope, Maureen, that you forgive me. And that you take over Corley Motors and run it however you see fit. All right, that's enough. How do I turn this damn thing off? I... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to hear that tape from... One of Malcolm's psychiatric sessions. <laughs> and near the end, he, he suffered many paranoid delusions. He was haunted by powerful forces of his own creation. And here's one of them. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Maureen Corley, and do I have a heck of a story for you. By the time I'm done, you'll see why this man should be in jail. Hey! Where'd he hobble off to? Uh-oh. There he goes. And then he sent his goons after me! Run, Rip Burger. When it's time to find you, we'll just follow the shiny trail. Yes, of course we'll have daycare facilities. Any other questions? Oh, speak of the devil. Come over here, Ben. That's great, Ben. Finally where we were meant to be all alone. So, after we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet. Uh, yeah, still a cutscene. Interrupted my speech. 
much, Ben. She really shouldn't have. I was just about to talk about the inherent dangers of motorcycle operation. Huh? What? Can't you make this damn thing go any faster? Uh, I think we have to do something here, actually. Okay. Uh, yeah. We have to do something else. If I touched it, it would fall off. Hmm. Okay. Now I have to figure out something quick. Uh, if I touched it, it would fall off. So if don't I touch it, it, it I suppose. If I touched it, it would fall off. Hmm. Nothing to we still have some bunnies in our inventory. There's a fan. Pretty small. Yeah, I want to check. I'm saving that chain for my friends hmm. on the open. Oh. I think that was a bit too late. Yeah. Hmm. Let me try that again. Indeed we will. Um, and we get to see the cutscene so, again. After we pick up your bike, we'll go get my gang out of jail. And then find out why my gang never showed up to help us. And then you go business suit shopping. Don't remind me. Don't complain. You're going to be rich. At this point, I'd settle for just a little peace and quiet. Okay, now we know that we need to open the grill. Um, so we well, think so. Yeah. Can we just push the bike into the fan somehow? If I touched it, it would fall off. Can we kick it? No. Can we use the bunny on the fan? Why don't you use the bike? Then? If I touched it, it would fall off. Okay, there is, is there anything else that we can use? Uh, wait, there was. I can't. That fan's like a big meat grinder. Yeah. Then stop the fan somehow. Hmm. Perhaps with more bodies. Okay, maybe not. Um, Pretty small. Can you combine them, maybe? No. Okay. And um, yeah. Kaboom. <clears throat> Let me try that again. Yeah, when we come back, folks, we shall yeah. Uh, try that again. So until next time, folks. Until then.